What's going on guys? I want to discuss something that is going to be very interesting in the future. We're about to enter the era of super jobs. These are going to be jobs that are going to pay $300,000 to a million dollars a year annual salary. There's a lot of talk about all of the jobs that AI is going to kill. And yes, artificial intelligence is going to get rid of a lot of jobs. And not to be overly critical or to be dismissive, but these are already jobs that people hate. Imagine going into a factory where, let's say you have this little widget, right? And your job is to drill a hole in this widget. And that's what you're doing all day long, drilling a hole in the widget. That's your position. Yeah, AI is gonna kill that job. AI is gonna create a system, a computer or something that's gonna do that job. And they're going to get away from the repetitive workplace injuries that they were having to deal with when they were working on this thing. So. Here's one of the things. If you have a job that you hate, you don't like going into your job. You don't like doing your job. Maybe your job is repetitive. Maybe your job is boring. Maybe your job is low paying. Once again, I actually have done the statistical research that 80% of the people in America make less than $40,000 a year. I've actually did the graphic research. So there's a lot of people who are talking about how AI is going to kill all these jobs. And if we go back to how, how did people get around buggy, horse, carriage, cars destroyed that. So what we, what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of low effort, low wage, jobs that will be destroyed but this kind of opens up the tutorial of what's coming right now there's something that's called a prompt engineer and these jobs pay two hundred thousand to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year and this field has existed two years two years two years for you to get a $200,000, $300,000 a year job. Now, here is where things are going to get a little weird. You, as an average, regular, normal, everyday person without a great deal of education, will not be able to get these jobs. And this is one of the reasons that I urge you I implore you to sign up with Chat, G, Chat GPT. Interesting thing with Chat GTP. One of the things I noticed that when I got on the site, it used to be slow. Then I actually paid for the additional um, to access Chat GPT four, and it's moving really, really quick. And this is something else I noticed. When I went to the gym today, there was a lot of parking spots. A lot. And what has happened is that beginning of the year when people like, I'm gonna work on my goals, I'm gonna work on my body, I'm gonna lose weight, all that's gone. And now the people who are hardy for the folks who are really doing something is left to that group of people. And once again, I keep telling you guys, artificial intelligence is like Bitcoin in 2010. Once again, I bought some Bitcoin. I wish I had bought a lot more, but I didn't know what was going to happen. I couldn't predict the future. But here we're going to have a ton of extremely high paying jobs that I would say from 200,000 to a million dollars a year in AI. And once again, this will not be all college graduates, because right now, Microsoft, Google, 
They're looking for people with experience. Uh, there are people who have self-taught themselves how to program who are working at Google, who are working at Microsoft, who are working at Apple, because I don't know when this happened, but they put this out that they were more interested in people who had the ability to do the job more so than the person with a fancy educational pedigree because they've noticed that they would hire these people who had these fancy educational pedigrees and they couldn't do the job or they really sucked at the job. So the training is now is, can you do the job? And this is one of the things that happens on LinkedIn. For you to walk into a job and fill out an application online, I'm gonna say something and I'm not trying to be dismissive, I'm not trying to be harmful. That is typically gonna be an under $40,000 a year job. Typically jobs that pay 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400, 500,000, you're not going to get those jobs by submitting your resume to the company. Because once again, hiring has changed, especially for these upper tier job skills. And you're going to have to have a public resume of what you know how to do. And I'm about to give you some guidelines for you to get these 200 to million dollar year jobs in the future. Number one, you must create a LinkedIn profile. Number two, you must create a blog or a YouTube channel or something where with your public government name talking about the things that you're doing. You want to publicly demonstrate that not only do you have an understanding of the technology and not only do you have to know how to use it, but you're at the level where you can teach this technology. And this is going to get people knocking on your door. It's like, hey, I saw your LinkedIn resume. I love your blog, especially this article and this article where you really got deep about this. Uh, I'm a recruiter for such and such company and we're looking to hire people and the job's 100% remote and we want to interview you. And they're going to be like, and the, the job pays 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000. This is going to be the new future. You're not going to be able to do what I did. <laughs> you get the you you can do what I did to get a low wage job, but what I did, and I'll, I'll tell you what I did. Uh, I used to work at a phone store. I used to sell phones, and I got laid off after being the top salesman of the month. Right, so I went home, and I created this plan where I would apply for all these jobs that I felt I can do and I created my own resume. I created my own I created my own data I created my own reference. And facility when the company called me asked me two questions. Two. I had practiced my Indian accent for months. But going forward, you're not gonna be able to do anything like that. That's not gonna work to get into these new lucrative high wage jobs. LinkedIn profile, blog, YouTube channel, maybe a Discord, maybe you're going to be on a website with other people in this program because essentially for you to get these super jobs, and I'm calling them super jobs because I, I, I feel that starting salary is going to be 200K. And right now, Meta, Google, you know, Meta, Facebook, is spending 660,000 to a million dollars to hire top tier developers. So we're about to enter into this super job phase where people are gonna be able to go to college, get a high skill, leave college, instantly roll into a job making 250, be in their career field, less than five or seven years and will top out at a million dollars a year plus additional perks and benefits. This is literally round the corner. And once again, 
what do you have to do to prepare yourself? Number one, I, I keep screaming this. Sign up with Jack, Chat GPT, start monitoring the boards, because like a few months ago, there was a big rush to YouTube with Chat GPT, uh, Mid Journey, and other AI technology. And there's a ton of companies rushing to the space for AI technology companies. And literally, we're on the precipice of this super job era. I want you to think, it used to be you had to become a, a seasoned executive, a CEO, COO, or information officer or something at a big company to get this $500,000 salary and to get stock options. As we move into this super era, you're gonna be able to get one of these jobs at one of these high tech companies move into that position, like I said, starting salary is gonna be 200K, or maybe 250, or maybe even 300,000. And then if you're there, literally two, two to five years, you're gonna be at half a million dollars a year salary, plus other benefits. And it's all, because I already see this happening with the prompt engineer, which existed two years. They're paying these guys $200,000 to $350,000 for a job that did not exist three years ago. And once again, with AI, and once again, everyone's like, oh, AI's going to destroy this job. And I'm going to say it. More than likely, it's going to destroy jobs that suck, that people really don't like, people don't want to work. So, yeah, it's going to destroy jobs. But what AI is going to do is going to create a totally litany and these jobs you're not going to know about these jobs unless you are you're in the industry unless you're doing chat gpt doing mid journey doing all this ai stuff you're in the industry so you will know that these jobs exist because the regular person regular person is not going to know about these jobs regular normal hard-working everyday americans they're not going to know about these jobs. And this is just the beginning of the super job era. Let's go 10 years in the future. You're going to have jobs that are going to start off for a kid out of college at a million dollars a year. Million dollars a year. Graduate college, go into this million dollar a year job, work in this industry 10 years, make 12, 15 million from your job. You have enough money to invest. You have enough money to do all types of stuff. Plus, these jobs are not going to be, um, a lot of these jobs are gonna be remote. And a lot of these jobs are gonna be on the computer. So you're gonna to have to be very, very technically savvy to get these jobs. And once again, you're not even gonna know about these jobs unless you're in the field and the people who have these companies, the people who are looking for people to work for them, they're gonna have you, you. You have you're gonna have to make yourself very easy to identify. Once again, YouTube channel, blog. You 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 gotta put out in the public space what you can do, how you can do it, what you know, and you gotta build frameworks. You gotta build systems. You know, and once again, this is just AI, artificial intelligence is gonna create some amazing jobs and programming is going to create some amazing jobs and developers because we're rapidly moving to a very internet computer technology savvy society and if you want to be part of this new future you've got to invest in tech one of the things i do and it's it's kind of an expensive habit but I typically get the new iPhone shortly after it comes out just so I can keep up with technology. I don't get a new iPhone because I need one. Actually, I got the new iPhone and I got my last iPhone on my desk because honestly, I just don't feel like selling it at the moment. That may change in the future, but you're gonna have to get into these discussion groups. You're gonna have to get into these bandwagons because like today, I was just on ChatGPT4 and it's moving really, really fast. It used to take some time, now it's like, I put in the prompt, boom, it's like, damn, boom, it's there. So that tells me 
that either they have appreciated or made the chat GPT-4 better, or there's less people on the platform. And based on what I'm seeing, I think there's less people on the platform because YouTubers went up, you can start a digital art business on Etsy. All you have to do is go to Mid Journey and create the art, and then you have to go to Etsy and look at what's selling and just copy it and put it up there. Now, this may come across as dismissive, but I'm gonna say it anyway. That is called low income effort. Essentially, there's a group of YouTubers, uh, there's a group of people who watch YouTube who feel that making 10,000, 15, 20, 30,000 dollars a month is something you can do easily, simply, it's not gonna take a lot of effort. And with all this new amazing artificial intelligence that you who live in Spokane, Washington can go ahead and create this amazing digital art store. Let me tell you the people who are gonna win this game. It's gonna be the people with the most education, whether it's formal education or it's informal education. These are the people who are gonna win these games because I want you to think that there's a guy and he made a really good video talking about how he used Mid Journey to create art that he put on Etsy. And at the end of the video, the guy only made 200 bucks. He only made 200 bucks, but these videos are getting so many views because people feel that because now we as the consumer have access to AI information, AI technology that we can use this technology and make a lot of money. And I'm gonna say something, and this may come across as aggressive, but the YouTubers who are making these videos, they're not using AI technology to make money. They're making their money from the YouTube video. And once again, consistently, when you see uh, there was one YouTuber, I'm not mentioning any names, who actually went through the whole process and found out it was a scam. Just found out. She's like, this ain't, it ain't gonna work. So what you have to do is to put yourself in the proximity where you can be aware of these things. Because like I said, there are jobs out there right now. There are jobs that pay $200,000, $300,000, $400,000, dollars a year that are looking for people and they can't find them. They can't find them. And this is going to be a big issue with the new jobs in the, well, I'll call them super jobs. I mean, I want you to think about this. Just kind of rock with me for a minute. I want you to think about this, that you could, you know, 10 years from now, you're gonna be able to go to college, get this new high tech skill, get this new programming, and literally roll into a job that pays 300 to a million dollars a year. That's, 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 that's nuts, but this is what's coming. This is what's coming. Because right now I'm seeing, you know, for the people who are willing to work hard, because like essentially, let's say you went to chat GPT and you got into it and you built your own program, you built your own prompts, you built your own dialogue, you built your own blog, and you got to the point where you were super good at creating prompts. And there's an art to creating prompts because uh, when I'm on mid journey, I've noticed that there are some prompts that are like a paragraph long with all kinds of little details and the art that it creates is amazing. And we're going to have prompt engineers, prompt people to create prompts. People are literally going to be sitting in their computer four or five hours a day, just creating interesting prompts and they're going to sell them. And you go ahead and you figure out because this is one of the things I'm doing. I'm with ChatGPT, I'm with Midjourney, I'm with Copy AI. I'm looking and I'm just sitting there like, how can I use this technology to make me real money? Not, you know, 200 bucks a month, but more like 100,000 a month. How can I use this AI technology? Because, you know, I'm using it. Because one of the things, I'm not just doing this video, I am deep into chat GPT. This is how I know what chat GPT is doing. I did a live stream and people were like, you can tell chat GPT to write a book. And I went to chat GDP and it's like, hey, and it's like, I don't have the resources to write the book. So you have a lot of people out there who feel because they heard something because they're not intimately involved. They're not doing the work. They're not dealing with the information and technology. They also have this feeling that these information, software, technology things can do more. And I can tell you, 
all of the stuff that is open to the public is intentionally limited. It's intentionally limited. There's only so much you can do. Now, this is something that's going to happen. At the moment, you cannot do pornographic or explicit anything on ChatGBT or MidJourney. Let me tell you what's going to happen. And this is going to create a new, new source of jobs. Someone is going to get access to ChatGPT and they're going to take that filter off. And you're going to be able to write erotica. You're going to be able to, someone is going to create their own thing. They're going to take that filter off and there's going to be a chat GPT, a mid journey, some other AI technology without a limiter on it. And it's going to be able to do anything. And once again, this is the information technology we're dealing with today. Three years from now, it's going to be better. It's going to be faster it's going to be able to do a lot more. And one of the things I see is a lot of people like hate when I talk about artificial intelligence. And it's like, cause like you, like me right now, I had to sit down. I, I'll tell you a story with mid journey. It took me a minute to figure out mid journey because I had to go ahead and sign up for the discord. I had to get my mid journey page and I had to figure out the prompt and it, it took me a minute. And I feel I'm not like a stupid person, but I didn't understand the technology. So now I can go into mid journey and make some great designs, some beautiful things. I'm testing some stuff out. I'm getting better and better with entering my prompts into chat GPT four. I'm getting better and better. And I've been doing this maybe five weeks, five or six weeks. And this is where I'm going. Because like I said, I'm not just telling you this, I'm telling myself this. A year from now, I'm going to be a chat GPT-4 expert. I'm going to be a mid-journey expert. I'm going to be able to create all types of art. And I'm doing this to educate myself on how the technology works. Because there are many of you who are like sitting around, playing around on TikTok, watching TikToks, messing around, and these three years, that I'm talking about, like right now, it's going to be May, Monday. And next May, I'm going to actually be getting off into some artificial intelligence stuff. I'm giving myself a year to learn the technology, to put myself in the infrastructure, to understand the infrastructure, to understand the technology, to understand everything. Because literally, two year, a year from now, two years from now, I want to be in a position that if I wanted to get one of those million dollar a year jobs, I can get one because I would have the resume. I would have the experience because I'm telling you, we're going to have jobs that we can't even conceive what they do because the technology hasn't been invented yet. But once the technology gets invented and once we have these user case studies, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be insane that what you will be able to do. And once again, it's all about you taking now to go ahead and familiarize yourself with the software, with the platforms, with everything that is going on, because some amazing opportunities are beginning to emerge are beginning to happen. And right now, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say 90% of the people who are messing around with the free AI, free AI platforms are just playing around. They're playing around. They're not really trying to do anything serious. And I would say 10% and I'm part of that 10% who are looking for economic opportunities in the future. That 10% is going to be the next segment of the wealthiest parts of America. And they're going to do it working from home, working on their laptop. We're going to be going very fast and heavy to a knowledge based economy. And if you want to be part of it, you need to go ahead and start paying attention to this stuff, involve yourself in this stuff and learn how to use it. Cause like I did a live stream and people were telling me, Oh, you can do all this other stuff. And I was like, no, you can't. 
You want to know how I know that you can't? Because I'm using the technology. I know what it can do, what it can't do. And I'm telling you, once we come out with these unlimited, because all of the information that we're getting, the public, is intentionally limited. And there's going to be some AI that's going to come out. And the way that I see it is it's going to be quite expensive. And when I say quite expensive, it's going to be like a thousand to three thousand dollars to get access to this new AI. And this AI will be unedited. It will be unlimited. It will be wide open. And you're going to be able to do some amazing stuff. Because let me let me give you a use case. I would predict in two two years, two years, you're going to have some AI that can literally write a book. And it, it like you could just say, hey, I need you to write a book about this. You're going to have to feed in the title of the book, what the book's about. Uh, work up creating um, a, a, a chapter of contents and this thing is going to create you a perfectly edited book grammar free book in about five minutes it's just boom and you're gonna have this book and also right now there's software and I can understand why this software can detect why this stuff is AI generated it can detect it in the future we're going to have ai generating software that can't be detected it's going to be able to create books it's going to be able to create youtube videos it's going to be this and like when i say it's literally around the corner i'm talking about in the next three years you will be able to have some ai software that you could go ahead and feed your prompts into and it's going to and once again, there's going to be an AI software that you can feed prompts into. It's going to create videos. That's going to be a game changer. When literally, it's going to be able to create videos. It's going to be able to do voiceovers. I mean, the things that are coming are insane. And if you want to be part of it, you need to go ahead and invest in learning the basics today. All right. It's almost May. And if you haven't got the money management course, be sure to get the money management course because let me tell you what I'm going to do. The money management course will be the only way that you're going to be able to get discount for the future courses that's coming. There's a lot of stuff that's coming. There's stuff that's coming May. There's stuff that's coming June. There's stuff that's coming July. There's stuff that's coming September. There's stuff that's coming October. There's stuff that's coming November. There's stuff that's coming in December. And essentially what I'm going to do is for the people who sign up for the money management course, you're going to get discounts in each course I, I lay out you because you're in the money management course, which is free. You're going to get discounts for this and I'm going to advertise this stuff on YouTube, but I figured out a way where I can just send the discounted stuff to the people who are already in the money management course. And I'm just going to put it on YouTube at this regular price which will be in a, uh, a beginner price and the price of that's going to go up. So I got a lot of stuff planned. And if you want to be part of it, you want to be part of the journey, because one of the things that um, I'm going to do in the future, and it's not going to be May, uh, but how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. Uh, there's all these things like get all these views of stuff. I've made millions and millions of dollars from my small YouTube channel. And if I look back on 2020, my YouTube channel was a little bigger than it is now. I think I was getting like about a hundred thousand views per month. And you know, because I did the reset, I'm getting, I'm going to get 50,000 views this month on this channel. And literally, um, I'm going to teach you how to small a YouTube channel, teach you how to set it up because Views, getting a lot of views can be good if you want to get that YouTube AdSense money. But I've only been paying attention to YouTube AdSense money in the last few years because all of my other real money has come from me selling stuff. And I'm a, that, that's going to be a very different course. It's going to be really different because right now, there's this thing called YouTube automation where people are making these videos, talking about all this other stuff, trying to get that YouTube money. And I'm going to tell you something from experience, the YouTube money changes because I'm seeing a lot of people try to start YouTube channels in what used to be formerly very popular topics. 
and they're crashing and burning. There's one guy I see, he's talking about how to get credit cards and his videos stop at 150. I think he's got one video that's got 300 views and I think he's got like 1,500 1500 subscribers. So the way he's doing it, he's not gonna make a lot of money. He's not because he's not getting the views. He's not creating stuff. So that's going to be a very interesting course. And once again, I'm about to get back to writing. I'm about to get back to writing quite a bit. So if you want to be part of this new training, go below. It's going to be in the description because I'm going to put this up today and I'm not going to forget. And you can get access to the money course because as we go down these different pathways and creating this stuff, uh, like literally, I'm going to start a blog. And I'm going to start it raw. What does mean is I'm going to have it tricked out. I'm going to show you the raw blog first, which is just you go to work. You go. I use SiteGround. You go to SiteGround. You go ahead and create a blog. And there it is. And I'm just going to fill it out. And then you're going to see it growing as me fill this other stuff out from May to December. You're going to see some radical transformations. You're going to see all kinds of stuff. And this can teach you how to set up things if you want to do it. Because once again, I'm I'm a hundred percent on this AI thing. I'm a hundred percent on this AI thing, and the internet. Uh, shout out to Dan Cole because he said it. The internet is composed of two things: servers and the data on the servers. It sounds like a simple thing, but that's the reality. So you can either be creating the servers, or you can be creating the data on the servers. So we got a lot of stuff that we're going to get into. So be sure to get into the money management course. Uh, because May, May, Monday is May 1st, and this is when all this stuff starts, and this is when we can get into teaching you how to become the person that you need to be so you can make this money. My name is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today. I'll probably be here tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next video.